Dude, careful. <laughs> Did you forget? <laughs> Realist podcast. And welcome oh. to the You Are Here podcast. This is episode 120. 120. The, I don't say one. I don't say 100. You I say, say 100. Yeah. I don't know. What am I saying? <laughs> Find a podcast on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, YouTube with the video, anchor.fm, www.youheardpodcast.co. We cannot afford to mm. mm. You already know. I'm sitting and I'm comfortable and I'm not going to grab the bottle of Formosa hot sauce, but I'm looking at it and it's right there. It's right there on the table. Formosa If you want a tasty, tasty, amazing, you already know Formosa hot sauce is sponsored this show. You're, you're sleeping if you ain't got it. And you're it sleeping yet. if you ain't got it. And that's simple. And, and that's it. And you're not a real one. <laughs> and you're not a real one. So get formosasauces.com, get yourself a bottle. Hey, welcome home. Everyone. Welcome home. Welcome back. We have we have some we have some announcements. <laughs> I don't I, this is Mike, this is big if you yes. say it now. So you just thought of this five minutes ago. <laughs> You're just announcing things for I'm, five I'm minutes. Just, five I'm, minute I'm thinking about all the things we talked about <laughs> in the past. <laughs> And, and I'm I, afraid what you're gonna say. Season in your the fear. Dude, no. That's, I don't know, bro. <laughs> I don't know. We're doing, gonna do a little experiment. Okay. All right. Last podcast we were Wait. solo, right? Okay. Okay. Last podcast we were solo, and this podcast, as you can see, we're solo again. We got the cops, solo sirens day. in the background, and you already know the birds are in the wall, <laughs> they're, and they're chilling. The birds are in the wall, and, and they're, they're not leaving, and they're cozy. You're in the nest. If you're it's listening, it's a nice day. Not it's really. the nest. <laughs> this is basically the nest. It's Welcome the nest. to the nest. Welcome, Welcome to home. the nest. Papa Bird is gonna feed you. There you, there you have it. And I think we're going to do a couple solo episodes. I don't know how you guys are liking it. If you, month of May, dude. I told yeah, you. Yeah, man. Month of May. Is, I think it's for the boys. It's for the boys. Yeah, yeah. Um, we're going to keep popping these out. Yep. Um, and I, I don't know. I have a lot of fun when Let's it's just Let's get some us. feedback from, yeah, from, yeah, from, from yeah. Where, our listeners, man. Whoever's listening right now, if you could like, subscribe, comment, please, for us. You know, that's a big deal. I want to hear what people have to say. The whole point yeah, of this podcast is to engage. Yes. To be part of the conversation, you know? Yes. We yes. meet up every day, every Monday because we want to have... Uh, we want to drop everything and have a conversation about real shit going on in our lives. Yeah. And be present with one another. Mm. The phones go away, you know? And if any of this resonates with you or you want us to talk about anything, you want to be a guest in the future one day, whatever it is, whatever it may be, get in contact with us. Comment down below. Like and subscribe. We are very open. Yeah, And man. yeah, I just think, yeah, we definitely want to engage with conversation. And if you guys are liking the solo episodes or if you want some guests on, if you have a guest in mind... Throw them out and them out you never there. know, man. You never know what's going to happen. We want some lifestyle. You know what I want? I want to talk to people who are, who are science majors. Yes. And people, yes. who, people who know more about like life than I do, have yes. experience, you know? I want to learn, man. Yeah, man. I want to learn some new things, dude. I like that. We talk a lot about acting, a lot about filmmaking, a lot about, you know, music, stuff like yeah. that, the arts. But I'm, I'm open. I yeah. want us to be open. Mm. You know, it's a You Are Here podcast. It's not the You Are Here Making Movies podcast. That is part of it. But Would you want to like interview just like random dude, walks? Not like, random, but like every walk of life. Yeah. Yeah, dude. yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. I like that. We should keep our eyes open. Yeah, man. Absolutely. Keep our eyes open. Um, so if, if you know, you know, more about, more about astronomy than I do. Yeah. Let me know. Like back in the day, I don't know if you guys can you read. If you, if you went back in the day and you're you're an OG, then you know we had our boy Stevie Steve. Stevie Steve was Stevie on Steve's this. a little you know he's mathematician. He's a he's a smart kid. Smarty, all right. He knows a lot. Smarty, smart pants, and, he, and, he, and cutie cutie pie. Yes, cutie. I think he still lurks in there. He doesn't he doesn't say much. Always anymore. clean, super clean. Smells I love Steve. great. I Abs love like uh, for days. <laughs> he's washboard. He smells. He's washboard. Why is he still? He's, he's a handsome. Sure you know what he is, dude? For real, and I'll keep it real. Because this is the You're Here podcast. Okay. He's so handsome. <laughs> I agree. Right? I love Steve. Like, as, as a man judging and, another man. And also, like, the personality, too. That's what it talk, is. We could talk about looks all day. That's what I want to say. We could talk about looks all day. It's the and personality. you know he's a cute kid. It's the personality. He's a cute kid. He's very cute. But it's the way he behaves. Dude, he is the most warmest. I love Steve. Like, every, when he walks in the room, I'm like beautiful i'm an instant smile like yes why is it weird as a man it, i feel totally comfortable saying that about my friend steve yeah the way he behaves makes him incredibly like more handsome Very, he's already handsome but yeah i think it's the, the combination of that like and just the welcomeness and why you does it I mean? bother me so much that like i can't hook him up what do you mean with like a lady <laughs> let me say trust me he's doing fine okay is he really mikey's you're in the know? You know, you know, let's talk. All right, let's make a comparison. Okay. Mikey is... Bone dry. You don't even have to think. 
You didn't even have to <laughs> think, dude. That's kind of depressing. But Steve, yeah, I'm. Gonna, I could say probably the opposite. Wow. I'm gonna say Steve does well. Does he? And I don't think I think he'll respect that. Man. But I'm saying that. Okay, I believe so you. So uh, all I'm gonna say is don't worry. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I don't know. My, what's, my boy's got it. I believe you. All right. I'll. I'll. I'll that makes me feel. That might, makes me feel. Better. I might have to get some tips. Honestly, start going out with him. <laughs> You're right. No, I'm just. Take a couple of tips. Should I have a notepad too? And we're like, <laughs> the disguise while he's out. You know what I think it is, Mike? This this past year, why it's so dry? I don't think it's you, man. I think it's honestly like the lockdown. Yeah, I think you would have been. You would have been had a few girlfriends. But you, but you know, <laughs> but you know, uh, before the lockdown, you know, it was start. It was like. Like, you know how California had a little drought? Like, yeah. It started. It started in 2019, the drought? I think, yeah. Yeah. But, you know, uh, sometimes you just, you know, got to buy some lotion and you're good. <sighs> and you'll survive. It's... Because it's dry. Right. Like, you're never alone. Like, you, you, you're you alone, but <laughs> but you always have... Yeah, for sure. As a man... Yeah, for sure. And I know every everyone does it. Yeah, for sure. It's a weird thing to talk about, but no, I'm fine. I'm I'm very open about it. I don't care because I want to change and you know grow a little bit. Yeah, with yeah. It. So I think talk. Dude, like, I heard it's unhealthy think, for you though. What? You know, too much. Of, I'm not talking about that. I'm just talking about moisture. Like no, no fap is a thing. I'm talking about moisturization. Oh, I thought you were talking about something. Dave, though. you're crazy. My bad, dude. My bad. Crazy. I started moisturizing too. That's what I'm saying. My face. Oh, well, we got different areas. Whoa. <laughs> Let's bring it. You know what? I'm going to bring it back, dude. It's a You Are Here podcast. I'm going to bring it back. We got to keep it Your real. Your boy's back on Bumble, all right? Oh, are you? Your boy's back on Bumble. We're bringing back the oh, bad, bad Bumble bios, my, mate. This is the best day of my life. Let's go, Mikey. So you, I got, I got can, three, I, can I see your profile? I got three for you. Okay. I actually wanted to do, I wanted to do... You know what my problem is? What? Mikey's going through some changes physically. Well, you're, right? you're slimming up, trimming up, so you're muscling up. Yeah. Do you see? You're fully vaxxed. Can we get a, can we get a, hooray, we're both fully vaxxed. Both fully vaxxed, boys. Maybe we'll have some Moder guests. Moderna when, gang. When we, have, we are Moderna gang. When we have guests, they could come in if they're vaxxed. Because like now that. we're all vaxxed. Yeah. I think that'd be cool. So we'll see. I think that brings some energy, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Next um, time. So my, my profile is kind of still, you know, in the past stages. Mm-hmm. Um, one big problem I have is I have not good pictures of myself. So I think, hey, your boy's going to Mexico. A and photo I might, shoot. I'll be changing and your boy's going to be posing. You know what you need? Striking poses. Look up right now, Leo DiCaprio in, in Romeo and Juliet. Right, right now, look that up. And that's what I want you to wear all, all day in Mexico. All fucking day. This should be you all day in Mexico. And, 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 and comment down below if I'm wrong. Yeah, yeah. Look up those images. That's you right there. That's you right there with that fucking floral floral button up with the with the chest out with the chain. <laughs> hey, floral button up with chest out with the chain, dude. Two buttons only. Dude, that's you. Like that in Mexico, hundred percent. Oh, facts you never knew, dude. I don't know. What are we doing? Sorry. 80s kids. Get us out of here. Go to go to scroll down a little bit. Keep going. I mean, look how oh. look. That's you right there, bro. Oh, that's you, dude. Look dude. how dude. fly See, that I is. I need at least one, like, just one of those. You can pull that off. Without the fat. Mikey, you can pull that off and that's right what I'm, now. Honestly, like, I feel like that shouldn't be the motivation, but. But, Mike, we're not, we're not going to be that little. You know how little he is? I'm going I'm to leave Leo up there just for motivation for myself. Mike, we're never going to be that little. little. That little? That's a little man. Is it? Dude, look how at how Leo? skinny he is. How tall is he? 5'10"? Five, five, Dude, that's another thing, bro. What? That's my name. That's my height. What am I saying? No, but he's he's a little man. That's a little boy man at yeah. that age, especially. Yeah. You're not gonna we're not gonna look like that. We gotta accept that. We're big we're bigger men. Who's like who would be us? You're looking at like who would who who's a good, who a good would representation? Be us? You know what I mean? Here? A good representation for I'm us, not, man. Like uh, that's what I'm trying to say. Like, who can I look up to? I'm trying to think, man. Give me a sec. Give me a sec. 
It's very strange, bro. Like a Tom Selleck, dude. Pull up Tom Selleck. Tom Selleck's handsome, dude. That's what I'm saying. Look up Tom Selleck real quick. How do you spell that? S S E L L E C K. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> like look, look at him in the button up, bro. Look at him chest out in the button up. That's that's us at, at, that's at us? our peak, bro. <laughs> Tom Selleck, six six three, six four. How about uh? How about we how about we throw in like a young into it? You know. <laughs> You don't think Tom Selleck's handsome now? He's a little older. Sure. I'll give you that. <laughs> they have no pictures of him younger. <laughs> he was never younger. <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> nah, he's ripped up there. He's shredded there. Oh. Look at that. What's Tommy. he doing, bro? Oh my, whoa, what hip the... move. What's going on down low? I don't bro? like this, dude. Is that his cheek on the side? <laughs> He's showing side cheek. I don't like this, bro. Yo, get it off the screen. <laughs> oh, full the screen. The side cheek. No, full he's ri- if that's really him, he's ripped. <sighs> Jeez Louise. That's steroids. There's no way. Yeah, no, I'm good. All right, Tom Selleck. Yep. Would, you, would you do steroids to get to get in shape? Like crazy shape? No, I don't think so. One one or two cycles? I've never done it. Neither. I've just I've just I've been around it, never done it. You've been around? I've been around it. I've like never, it being done in like a in like a gym I'm at. Oh really? And getting passed around. You need. Oh oh really? Yeah. yeah. Send it to you in the mail. Drop it in your me. mailbox. It's from Russia or something. You know, it's like it's it's not the good stuff. It's like uh, yeah, that's what I'm scared of. I don't want the <laughs> like I don't want the bad it. stuff. <laughs> My God. <laughs> but that's what everyone used to get their hands on the the younger people. You know. Yeah, I don't think I can do it, man. I wouldn't do it. You know what it also is? is like, I want to a little. You bit You know sometimes. what I am? I'm, I'm a very guilty person. You guilty? I feel really, I, I if so I do something bad, like I really like your conscience is like, yeah, shrunk. man, like, yeah, I'll think about it, and uh, you know, if I'm like ripped and I'm out there and I've done it, I'm gonna be like, dude, I didn't do this. But if you got the Leo floral, you know, three buttons down, yeah, sure, had, like, with the chain <sighs> and the cigarette hanging not, out, he's not ripped in that. No, he's just skinny, skinny yeah, boy. Yeah, he's if a fem, a feminine, fem, feminine. Oh, uh, is Leo back then? I guess not yeah. a hair on him, you know, sweet looking. I guess so, yeah. He's like Timothy Chalamet, like they're yeah, they're they're very. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You wouldn't say these are like manly dudes. These aren't like big burly dudes. These we're we're I we're so. rougher dudes. Yeah. We're bigger. True, 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 true. You know what yeah. I mean? We're, yeah, yeah, yeah. Testosterone for sure, for sure. Meat. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. We can't know. change that. Hey, can you go back and change your fucking genetics? No, but yeah. we can work out, get trimmed up, and fucking. I can fit. trim this chin with a razor, dude. Bro. I'm telling you. And, and I feel good now. What if I walk in and I get like some sort of surgery done? <laughs> just don't say anything. Like if my, if maybe like I, uh, <laughs> what if I just like shaved my cheeks, dude? <laughs> Shave them down? Yeah. Why would you do that? No, but I'm just imagine. Just if you Imagine did. like I walk in and uh-huh. like you just, my cheeks are like obviously like <laughs> just cut up. Just hollowed out? Yeah. And I'm just, oh. and I didn't say a thing. <laughs> what would you do? I would probably ignore it. Really? I would probably be like, <laughs> hey, I don't want to, because I don't want to make you feel insecure about it. You know, that's a, like a, that's a vulnerable thing. Yeah. Sorry, my phone's going. That'd on. be sad, man. Hey, Adam Louder. Here's the thing, dude. Here's the thing, Adam. We're not doing guests. We're doing a podcast, and you know that every Monday. Um, and we're not having you on for the tenth time. And you're not on again for a little while. <laughs> He's been listening to every episode, but you know what? I love him. Thanks for the support, but I love Adam. Yeah, you're not on right now. <laughs> you're not on, um, dude. I no, see. but I feel I feel good being a bigger guy now. Yeah, we're gonna I, get back to your. I accepted. It. I accepted it. It's good. I accepted it for sure, dude. When I was sparring, I felt the power. Yeah, I tell you, that's what. what I'm saying. It's like we got a lot more power, man, bro. A lot more power. First, like, first like, time. Like a lot of people, like the, I don't want to say it like this, but say it. A lot of little people. Whoa, <laughs> so canceled, bad. bro. You're canceled, dude. He canceled. Mikey's done. This is the Dave of Joseph Valina smaller, podcast. A lot of smaller people. Mm. Forget a little. I'm sorry. Uh, for, like a lot of like you mean just people sm- smaller like than five, us. five and, yeah, and below. Smaller, smaller. Yeah, yeah. Five, six and below. A- smaller than us. A- average height. Yeah. Average. Dude, I wanted to be that height. What? When I was younger. Why? I wanted to be that size. Why? I don't know. All my friends were like littler. I was like, I'll be one of them. But no. I, I shot up when I was 16. I always wanted to be taller, man. You always wanted to be yeah. taller? Yeah. Because I play soccer. Dude. I'm a goalkeeper. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. I can't even touch the fuck. I don't play point. basketball, but I was like, I'll be little. I'll be like Muggsy no, Bugs. No, dude. And then I blew up. Wow, that's the complete opposite. I that's like the complete, Hey, dude, that's the complete opposite of every short person. I know. 
And then I was big. I was like, this is, I feel like a lumbering weirdo. Like I was all limbs, like a skinny bean pole with fucking elbows and knees. You know what? Being tall is kind of tough because both both sides are tough. Mm -hmm. Because I feel like being tall, you kind of, especially in like high school and stuff, it's Mm -hmm. like the tall kids were always like, if you weren't like, you know, straight up a blank, you know what I mean? Like a noodle, (laughs) which there, you know, happens. But I feel like normally the taller kids that were like you know on sports teams and stuff were always like the popular kids yeah right? yeah and they would always be like everyone loved them yeah and like the shorter kids you kind of had to like find some way to compensate right yeah they always like you'd, you'd have to be super yeah, funny dude. Yeah, yeah, you'd have to be yeah. super funny yeah yeah or super i don't know interesting or you're, something you're like right above you're above average yeah your height you're yeah. like in the you're you're in a good spot dude average height i'm is six like, three dude average height is i think is five eight or something that's not, that's average yeah you're five eleven i'm six you're six foot. Six. Yeah, yeah. Five, eleven and a half. Dude, let's say six. <laughs> let's say six because it's on the profile. Okay, okay. Six feet. I'm sorry. Hey, dude. Hey, hey. Hey, dude. I That's at the, the top of the profile. Dude, I was just kidding. It's at the top of the profile. I got you. Lock That's it. crazy that you just did that here. Yeah. What I meant and, was... And, and when, you bo- when we both looked at each other in the eyes and then you smiled and I <laughs> smiled, I thought you were going to say, yeah, six foot. Six foot. But you said five, eleven and a half. No, I was... I, I was stuttering. I have... That's I haven't crazy. had enough coffee yet. <laughs> I'm gonna just, I'm gonna put a sensor over that. Yeah, beep that out. <laughs> beep that out. Don't say what I said. And I wasn't. I didn't mean it. He's six foot. Um, a hundred percent six foot. Hundred percent. Hundred percent six foot in shoes. Definitely. And probably a little more. There's no doubt. With those Doc Martens, no doubt, dude. And I and I ran these soles down, dude. Yeah, those are skin. Trust me, I'm still. Yeah, yeah. You're there. You're there. You, you cracked. But six three is like you're always the biggest dude, yeah. usually in a room. Yeah. So it's it's uh, that 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 is. I used to be like, damn, I don't want to, I don't want to stick out. I'm gonna like blend in. Yeah, you know, dude. I'm gonna say something so sad. Go ahead. You never see like super tall dudes. Old. You old, say old, old, and also just in public. That's true. Like think about like the tall, tall people because they're dead. You never see them because they're dead. Yeah. No. They're but rare. maybe they just have to stay inside. <laughs> They're just decrepit or dead. Maybe their joints get. It's uh, definitely saying, that. You know? It's definitely that. It's kind of crazy. It sucks, man. Knowing my future is going to be so short. You know, like I don't get the I don't get the longevity of a five foot two guy. I think you do. Why? Because think about like you're gonna, you get shorter as you grow, right? A little bit. So, so like fifty years old, you're gonna get to like maybe six foot. You think? Yeah. Just shrink their inches. I think my dad shrunk like. Really. I think so, like two, maybe two, three inches. That's a lot. Greg, should fact check that. I don't know. Yeah, right. <laughs> I'm just talking. To <laughs> just talking this dad shrank. Is he shorter than you? But now no. I, tall, I tower over him now. Do you really? Yeah. No, you yeah, don't. I could say that. You liar. I tower over my father. Yeah. I oh yeah. Yeah. It ain't even close. <laughs> my mom's five, five three. My dad's five seven on a good day. Damn. Six three. Got to puff up that hair, dude. What hair? It's just gone. No, I uh, I appreciate it now. I'm I'm glad I'm this height now. Yeah. But when I was do first sparring, first sparring session, your boy. Let me tell you. At first, my trainer just walks over to me and says, "This is your new headgear. This is your mouthpiece. We're sparring today. We're training." I was like, "Oh shit!" He threw it on you. Just dropped it on me. Really? And I was like, "Bro, I'm not ready. I don't know." He's like, "No, no, no. Come on. It's gonna be fine." Put like a rib protector on me. I got in there. I'm trying to hit a moving head, dude. I didn't realize how hard it is to hit a human being like while they're yep. moving. Bro. But when you connect, yeah. Your whole body changes chemistry. Really? Dude. It's oh. different. I remember I was like self-conscious about my headgear. I was full of fear. I was like listening to my breathing. Like it was I was so bad in my head. Yeah. So much. And then I finally connected. And he connected with me and I was like, we're in it. Yeah. And everything else went away. I didn't give a fuck about my head here. I wasn't afraid. Yeah, yeah. I, I would just focus on hit, not be hit. And it was like a dance, like a rhythm. And you like gotta you, be you gotta you be had in the th- moment and focus. Yeah, yeah. You think for a split second and then you have to act. Like there's no half measure. Yep. It was the weirdest. I went three rounds, but I was like I felt what it was like to hit a man. Yeah. And have him walk through a punch. Like because you didn't throw it strong enough and it didn't connect right. <laughs> And it's it's like a bad dream, like those bad dreams. Yeah. You ever have those bad dreams? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where you find somebody and they're yeah. like, <laughs> it's like a pillow. Yep. You can't hurt. Yep. You can't hurt them. It was that. And then I was, but the cool thing was like when my footwork was right and my timing was right, and if he didn't see it coming, 
boom. Yep. And he's stumbling a little bit. You're Damn. like pushing back a little bit. Oh, dude, it's weird. How do you explain that? Like, I don't know how else to explain it. My whole, I felt like a, I felt like the most alive I felt in, in, in months. Really? It was insane. Fuck. Everything went away, dude. Every, I didn't even know I was in a gym anymore. Yep. I was just in a little thing. That's with that zone, one man. Human That's being. the zone. Fuck. It was great. I want to do that. Now. Dude, it was fucking great. And when your head's, <laughs> when I got hit, yeah, I was yeah. like, oh man, this is weird. A yeah. little headache afterward, but I was okay. No CTE yet. <laughs> yeah, I need you here, dude. Yeah, yeah. Trust me. I, can't I told Dave, up. I was like, all right. Don't go crazy because I need you here. I was telling, I was telling Sean, shout out Sean Paul Costello on the live and his boy uh, Rob. Um, when I did the training, uh, I asked uh, this guy came up and one of the trainers in the gym today, and he, he he and I see him all the time. I always dap him up. He's like the man. Yeah, I saw him dismantle somebody. I was like, this guy's the shit. Really? Yeah. So um, so we've been buddies, and uh, at least like, you know, like dap up buddies, nothing crazy. Um, but today he was like. Oh, how did sparring go? Because he saw me that first day sparring. He's oh, like, really? this is your first day. I was like, yeah. He's like, good luck. Then I saw him today. He goes, how'd it go? First sparring session. I was like, bro, it was great. He goes, you looking to fight? And I was like, nah, man, I'm, a, you know, I'm an actor. I'm just trying to like, you know, do right by boxing and like know how to move like a boxer and, and know what it's like. I want to get as much like authenticity as possible. He's like, and he just gave me this this look, dude. And it wasn't like a dirty look. It was just like a... What is he, what are you saying? And they just looked away. <laughs> That's so funny. And I was like, oh no. Oh no, bro. I like outed myself because I never told yeah, anyone. Yeah, he thought that. he had a buddy, man. Yeah. So I lost I a feel friend. Like, I feel like you kind of have the image of like you might be, you know, boxing. Yeah. I, I can kind of right? see it. It's scars on my head. I'm like older. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Grizzled. Man. I can see it. 6'3. Maybe he was like, dude, this is the next. <sighs> what if? He might have thought. What if, man? He might have thought this he is a next you. amateur He's like, this guy rising in the ranks. Yeah. Dude, if you went, yeah. Dude, I thought after I hit, I hit my trainer a couple of times, I was like, I could go I could go into the amateur ranks right now. I moved him. I was like, I could, I could, I wallowed him a little bit. You know, I was like, the stories you tell yourself, the confidence boost and everything, yeah, like yeah. You, my, 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 my fantasy started running, dude. As soon as the, the round was over, I was like, oh my God, I could do this. I could actually fight. Like, I could fight. Yeah. But I can't fucking fight, yeah. dude. I got to train. You know, if I ever was to ever do that, it would take forever who, to get ready. Who would you spar? Your trainer? My trainer. My trainer. Who was, uh, was like, legit. Oh, my God. And you were tapping he, him? He was qualified for Junior Olympics. He was the shit. And you were tapping him? I was tapping him. How old is he? 55. Okay. Yeah. He's up there. Yeah. But he's still, like, devastating. So maybe don't say I'm tapping a 55-year-old. I'm just, <laughs> I surely am, dude. <laughs> dude, I surely am. You better believe it. No, no mercy. No, those guys stay in shape, though, bro. He's, Especially, he's probably been in that shit for. When he hits me, dude, I'm yeah. like, what the fuck was that? Who else is in here? I'm like, who else is in this fucking ring? <laughs> no, bro, he's he's in, he's incredible. He's incredible, and he's manipulating me too in there. Really? He's playing like mind games. He's like showing me one side of his face. Oh yeah, because he wants me to throw a jab. Or he's showing me another side of his face and leaving one side open because he wants me to throw a right. Or he wants me to like pivot. Yeah. He's directing. Like that's how fucking yeah. amateur I am. Yeah. That's how much of a beginner I am. He could direct me. And I'm, I'm thinking I'm beating him up. Yeah. He's yeah. like, I'm giving you this. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Get the, well, I don't know. Yeah. It's, now I'm thinking like, because the, the game of boxing is like so much of like the technical it's timing. It's and, and and like like I was thinking of like when you first get in there, like I can I could bet that people are trying to just like follow it's the insane. face, right? It's you're insane. trying to follow, you're trying to follow the face, but that's like losing all the momentum uh -huh. and the power. Uh -huh. You're trying to meet them. Yeah, you know that's what I started. Dude, that's what I started to feel was like at first I couldn't touch him, and I was like, why can't I touch? I'm used to hitting him back. I'm used to hitting yeah. a thing that's in front of me. Yeah. I know where it's at. And it's always going to be there. When he moves, I don't know where he's moving. Yeah. But if I guess, if I do like a slight guess and an instinctual thing, I could see his body starting to lean or yeah. whatever. My my eyes started catching that. Yep. Or I would I would know he's leaving me. He's leaving open a jab. Yep. And he knows it's coming. So I would throw two rights in a row. Bop, bop. And he'd be like, you know, you see his fucking head yeah. step. And I'm like, I'm getting it, dog. I'm getting it. That was I so felt, good. Dude, it was the best feeling. It was Damn, the best. It was man. the best. Um. Yeah, but so I want I want to hear about your bumble stuff. Enough of this yeah. fight stuff. I want to. I'm an I, amateur. Look me up. I wonder if I do. Look me up. I I wonder which fight thing I would do. 
I don't know if I do boxing. You want to do jujitsu? I don't know if I want to do I do jujitsu jiu once, dude. It was the greatest thing of all time. Really? I would love to do that again. I would love to if I had time. Yeah, that's how you get your ears fucked up, though. Yeah. Wrestling. Oh, I, I don't know why. I think my I want to set a new goal of like, I want to have a black belt in something. Muay Thai? With the <sighs> knees and everything? I think I'm maybe kickboxing, dude. Kickboxing is great. Boxing's crazy. Because yeah. I got these legs. I'm thinking like I got You hurt somebody with yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. I could tell. I probably do. My legs are it. thick. Your legs are. I was like, I'm saying we can, we can. Yeah, yeah. Knock some people out. Men, again, men. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes, like, yes, yes. Not, not, big against, men. not against big men. Not against yeah, bigger men. Big beautiful men. We're That's B- right. BBMs. BBMs. Look us up. <laughs> Look you are here podcast. Look us up. Clip it. Clip it. Clip that. Um. All right. Let's go to some some Bumble bios. Mm. These are a couple things. Uh, I got three of them. Yep. That's just you know. I just like, they, they, I'm on the dating apps and this catches my eye. Mm-hmm. And sometimes I think it's a weird bio. Or it makes this me, is other girls? Yes. Okay. That's what Bumble Bios was. Bad Bumble Bios. Bad Bumble Bios. Oh, we're was. doing Triple Bs. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. Triple B. Can we get a little Triple B? I'll think about it. I might. With the zzzz, with little Bs everywhere? <laughs> I like that. All right. Maybe I will. Yeah. yeah. Um, hey, we got a new so, intro, by the way. Thanks, Mikey, for that. Yeah. That was yeah. dope. Yeah. 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 Um, so, so the re- the way I pick these is, I don't know why it's always like I, I'm going through and then I see something and then I always think to myself, I'm like, my mind kind of goes somewhere. Like I read it and then I think about like what they're thinking when they write it. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, and sometimes I so. I'm like, okay, whatever. So the first one is my sense of humor is my sixth sense. Sense. I like that. It's like wordplay. My sense of humor is my sixth sense. Okay. I like it. You like it? I so far. So what I what I was thinking, I'm like, that's kind of like, I don't know. I feel like it's a lot to like. I guess that's confident, right? It is confident. Yeah, but it's also thing. it's also funny. I feel like it's tough to. I don't know how I feel it's when cute. people. I I don't know how I feel when people say like I'm funny. Like I'm hilarious. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I don't know if I can jive with someone like that. It's it's a bold thing to say, right? I'm I, hilarious. The funniest people I know don't never say they're funny. Yeah, I've, I've they never just met are anyone funny. that says they're funny that's true that's true you know so i don't i don't know that, that sense makes me of feel humor weird. is my sixth sense is a sense of, yeah i guess a sense of humor saying you're funny it's also saying like you enjoy your you, you have a good sense for funny things like yeah. funny movies funny you know, comedy stuff okay yep all right so the next one is um it just said uh, i give that a I give that a 4.5 on the bat on the B- <laughs> B's. rating yeah so that's, that's a low rating it's 4.5 b's out of 10 um all right so the second one it was it, it was just wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> okay, I like this. I like this a lot. So why? Okay. I like this a lot. Here's why. This is... Wouldn't you like to know, wouldn't, dude? Wouldn't you like to know? Not not anymore. You know what I mean? Not anymore. I did until I read that. <laughs> it's bold. It's it's That's uh, wild, man. But it's like your hot shit. You yeah, know? yeah. And from the pictures and shit. What 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 is your... Would you, were you like turned off? Were you like, oh my gosh, she's a gorgeous. I got I got I want, I need to know more. This was a good, like, why'd you pick that out? When, I don't know, man. When you just write that. <laughs> what'd you get? And like, and the, and the way, she, and, and she, I'm not going to say anyone's, you know, bad looking or it's, everyone has a type, right? Not my type, not my type, but <laughs> like, it's kind of like that typical, like, um, she was, like, super glammed up, right? Like, all the fucking makeup in the world. A lot of makeup. Like, the crazy Are you into makeup? And shit. I'm, like, I don't know. Okay. Maybe, like, go out when you go out. Maybe like a something. light thing Yeah, of I, can, I can. I'm, I'm all right with no makeup. I don't, I don't mind. Yeah. Um, what do you prefer? I don't know. I think I don't care. I don't really care. Yeah. You know what? I actually have a nice... Sweatpants, hair tie, chilling with no makeup on? Drake? Some... <laughs> Fuck Drake. Um, something, <laughs> I, something I like, though... Yeah. Is girls with the uh, the cat tail, or like the tail? What is that? It's kind of like the eyeliner, kind of black tail thing. Oh, you like that? I kind of like that. The 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 mascara look. Yeah, thing. yeah. I kind of like that. I got you. When it's done well. Yeah, I got yeah. you. Um, like pharaohs used to wear that. Yeah, like some Cleopatra. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. <laughs> okay. All right. So this is the next one. This is the last one. Your six pack. And swollen arms do not impress me. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> the last one I give like a I give like a, a seven point eight. Yeah. This one. <laughs> so this goes against everything Mikey's trying to do right now. Right. 
Right. Yeah. Like you're 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 getting excited about the six pack and the yeah and, yeah, and yeah. The like I'm gonna do it. Right? Yeah, yeah. She's she's saying it does not impress. <laughs> I just found it really funny that I'm like, yeah, dude, I'm gonna get ripped. Yeah, she, it's just the first thing you see is like a girl saying does not impress does me. not impress me. Now this girl in your in your uh, preferences does she fit the mold? Does she not? You know what? She was a very like um well put together uh-huh. person. Like like, like kind of like a little bit maybe a couple years older than me. Okay. Like very career, bus- very business, yeah, career, thing, yeah. doing it, probably some like law thing, you know what I mean? Okay. I could see it. I think was, I, I think maybe that fits her. Are you into that? Are um, you looking for someone more your age, I more think more yeah, more maybe, loose? Like, I mean, I don't, I don't mind. I don't discriminate. Not loose, but like I don't discriminate any ages, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, I want to. I want to like, clear up when I said lose. I don't mean like. Yeah, that was weird. That's not what I mean. That was weird. Dude. I mean like uh, more, <laughs> I trying more. To, I was trying to blow past it, <laughs> but you, you went you. back to it. But I want to clear up the air right now because it's a weird. It's, it's leaving a weird thing in there. I meant like carefree, more you yeah, know, yeah, youthful. Yeah. Lucy Goosey, I feel you. No, not Lucy Goosey. That's how. Um, there's no such thing. You guys you do what you want. No, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Uh, like very um, <laughs> carefree. Carefree. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Younger. You know. Because you you want to you want to get locked into something where the 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 woman you're with is she's got her plans and she's ready to go like when when she plugs you in even yeah. if if you guys are like getting along and everything it's like Mikey like a couple of years like I want a house I want I want kids I want all that would you be cool with that right now you know what I think my perspective has really been changing about like what I want in terms of relationship stuff you turned twenty five yeah yeah and uh, I mean I think I definitely want like kids and stuff in the future in the um, future. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I don't know when that would be, honestly. Yeah. I don't know if that'd be, like, soon. But, um, I don't know. It's just... <sighs> dude, I'm thinking you being a dad. That's crazy. If you were of, just, like, a dad... Hey, dude, I'm thinking of you being a dad. <laughs> you know, like 30 years old. Whoa. <laughs> hey, bro. We're going to slow down. <laughs> I'm um, still young. Dude, hold dude on. I, I feel like I'd be an amazing dad. Yeah, you would. Yeah, I, would. Sure. I think we'd both be. Yeah, yeah. But, like, even, like, I, mother, Happy Mother's Day. Oh, my God. To the mothers happy Mother's there. Day, Mom. But uh, I was at, we went out for a little dinner, and your boy spent a pretty penny. Um, but we, I had my uh, cousin's uh, kids there. Uh-huh. And, um, like, dude, I'm just, the kids love me. Mm-hmm. The kid loves me. Mm-hmm. He knows my name. He's like, Uncle Mike, Uncle Mike, Uncle Mike. He's showing me the games, you know, on his phone, just, like, draining his life away. <laughs> dude, the craziest thing about kids and phones and all this shit, mm-hmm. remember you used to play, like, a Game Boy? Yeah. Dude, this kid's on the phone, and, like, you know when, you ever play, like, a phone game? Very, very And then, like, you know, like, even, like, on a YouTube video or something, like, an ad comes up, yeah. and you have to press yes. X? Yes, Dude, he is, like, frame perfect, like, he's playing the game, and then an ad comes up, not, the ad doesn't even load, he's, like, clicks it out, and he still plays. I'm like, dude, this is crazy. Whoa. Like, that's insane. These are the kids now. Yeah. That's just what it is. What do you think it's going to do And to it's them? the worst, and I, dude, I like, I love video games and stuff. Dude, it's the most brainless, like, mind- numbing things that they're doing bro i had to give it up i had to give it up yeah the but at least thing. you're playing like a triple a title you know yeah actually that's like, true that's a true. good thing like yeah. i have a pride in a good game you know what i mean but this is just like some this is like some kid's high school project you know it's like the worst thing in the world God. and it's just draining like every ad is like adding 10 bucks to their to the ad agency you know what i mean Damn. but Damn. uh yeah i don't know uh i think it'd be a good day of course dude. i really want to have that like you know son take care of yeah. i don't know there's something something in my life that i want that yeah uh, i don't know when though but also with like um i've been doing a lot of talk like i don't know i've been learning about other people's lives of you know what they want and i think like a lot of people don't really want to get married anymore there's like more divorce and like less marriage than yeah. there ever was it's crazy. ever before right yeah and it's, it's why do you think, think that is dude i don't know man i think it's just i think with social media with social media and i think things are becoming a, a lot more open and like with Relation. with gender sexuality with yeah, everything i feel like yeah. it kind of plays a role in yeah, society there's, right there's a lot of stuff against a nuclear family like yeah. nowadays it's like it's like looked down upon almost to be a yeah unit. but, but I, th- I think because those were like i think because a lot of people even back then maybe were different things yeah but they weren't kind of allowed to really, you know, that's true. Be what they actually wanted to be, so they have to it fit into be. these different roles. Yeah, right. So maybe now there's so many more things that, you know, it's not really the things are changing. Like you know, what's what do you more, mean, like marriage? Like like, yeah, like they're not ma- allowed to be polyamorous. Like if people are polyamorous, like back then, yeah, it was it wasn't like a thing you could do or like like walk around. And be well, like, I mean, I'm like you could maybe for a little, but then yeah. it'd be like all right, like time to settle down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But uh, I don't that's know, true. man. It's, Dude, I, I I don't get I don't get it, but I, I respect it if yeah. that's your thing. And even with me, I'm like I don't know. I've been thinking because 
that's all I see now is like you're no, polyamorous. No. <laughs> All I see now is like no relationships, That's, like no, no, no marriage, no nothing, yeah, no blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, I guess this is just, I got to adapt Bro, or like, I don't know. Sometimes I'm looking at people any, I know. And every like, person I talk to is like, or any like match or anything, yeah. it's always like, no, I don't, want, don't, don't want kids, yeah. don't want to. Jeez uh, Louise. I don't know what I want. It's, you know what I mean? Yeah. Figure it's okay it to not know what you want. Yeah. 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 But, but I don't know. It's just the the traditional i feel like the stronger bonds yeah are like more like those are being avoided i believe that you know i believe that and i don't know i don't know i think it's, it's super a, hard to get I feel in a, like relationship. It's a more touchy subject of like a serious relationship why is that so touchy i don't know it's weird yeah like you're in the you're in the position where you're you're floating yourself out there and saying like i'm available ladies if you're interested i'm available yeah and they're you know they're able to say to you like I want to like hang out, but I'm not interested. I'm kind of like in between things. I don't want to. How do you have a fucking relationship? Yeah, I don't know. How do you have a real relationship? For I real. Know, you got to, you have, love is like, if you want love. Now, and, I'm, and I'm, I'm prefacing it with, if you want love. Who doesn't want love? Yeah, it's like. <laughs> who doesn't want things. fucking love? You know, I, if you want love. But I think. That, you have but, to be vulnerable. But I think the thing is, is like what like your version of love yeah is a certain thing right there's there's dude you change each other yeah if you're open to each other yeah you learn about each other this this yeah. is what i want to say this is and this is what i want to say for episode 120 dude and i'm mad because we're talking about love dude and, and i'm just playing devil and ass. i'm sick of people pretending that they don't want to be in love okay we all do Okay, it's in our nature to fall in love with each other. Uh huh. When you fall in love, dude, you're signing on to something that's temporary. Yes. So you're gonna be hurt, no matter what. We're gonna hurt each other in the in the midst of it because we're two different human beings. We're always gonna hurt one another. But it's worth it. It's beautiful. Yeah. You're vulnerable. You share who you are with somebody else, and they look at you and say, "You're gorgeous. You're beautiful. I love you." And I want to spend time with you. Yeah. Do you love me too? And they show you them. And you're like, 100%. I don't know why, but I really do. Yeah. I really do. And um, it's just like, it's an offering to another human being. And it's a, it's a shared offering. And there's nothing more personal you can get on this earth than that. Yeah. Than, than in a bond with another human being where you're open and vulnerable to one another. You explore everything. You explore life together. Yeah. You know? I don't know why people run away from that. It's scary. Sure. You're going to get hurt. Sure. But life, you're going to get hurt. Period. So you want to go through life not experiencing love? Yeah. The best thing on this planet? Yeah. While you, in the short amount of time you get to live? Which we have no fucking way of knowing how long? Yep. Yep. It just, I, I, I get mad. Yeah, man. I, I, I wish I wish everyone I wish everyone could feel love from another human being, a stranger who they get to know. I, I wish that for everybody at some point. Yeah, me too. Don't run away from it. You know, be careful with who you let in, and who you let out. But don't be too careful. Yeah, you know what I mean. Almost, it's I don't want I don't want people getting hurt all over the place. But like, you sign up for it. Yeah. You know your par your parents met as strangers. Yeah. They're fucking all over. They love each other. Mm -hmm. They created a family. They built a home. They they explored life together. They still are. Yeah. They did it on a, because they took a chance. Yep. But like our generation now, we're like, you, you know, you're telling me about the, about the girls you're meeting on Bumble, and they're like, just you know, I don't, I don't, I'm not looking for that per se. So I'm just not gonna message him back, and I'm gonna flirt with another person on the texting for five weeks, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna kick them in the curves. I'm, not, I'm I don't want to. I don't want to get involved really truly with anybody. Okay. Yeah. You can miss out on something beautiful. You can miss out on your whole life. Yeah. You're only going to be young once. Yeah. I just miss the like natural connection of going out. And yeah. Just, you know what I mean? That's yeah. the thing I miss. When's the last time you felt like you connected with a girl in life? In life? Yeah. Like where you had like a shared thing where it was like you felt it. You would like looked at each like, other. With and love? Was, like, a, just a, a bud of love, a bud of like the beginning of something that could be a thing. Yeah, I think I've in life. In I think I think maybe like the before the quarantine shit, man. Before the quarantine, yeah. Wow. I think it's still like you know, like 
be out and like you know mm-hmm. do mm-hmm. things. You mm-hmm. know, what I mean, after the quarantine shit, that shit just all went downhill. Yeah. Especially for me, dude. I was like, I don't know. Like, I feel like I lost how to like interact. You know, in a like way. flirt, like to kind of, yeah, 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 like, yeah, yeah. and yeah. I, now I'm like, and with all the different like uh, like social things going on, or whatever, like like protests or everything, it's like I'm scared to like even like, what do you say <laughs> or like how like what is this? Is this <laughs> That's be so okay, true, dude? man. You I don't mean, mean to laugh. Yeah, it's tough. Yeah. It's tough. I totally understand, but uh, it must be tough. Yeah, you okay, have to watch what you fucking say. Yeah, but at do. least at least with like before, like you you know you'd see everyone every every other day or every other week yeah yeah and like you slowly get closer and closer and closer you know what's and like hard, it keeps going yeah. and like that's the natural thing yeah like when i have when i'm texting someone on the fucking dating app i'm like there's no like you're not inching closer and closer also like, I, I don't feel any inch maybe it's on the other side but i feel no way to get closer to a person wow with like uh with texting you know what i mean like I, I don't feel yeah. any like Anything closing, you know what I mean? Yeah. Or anything being Like if done. you were to send a message to someone you like and say- I think I just have to like uh, I FaceTime like people. FaceTime for sure. But like, why is it so scary to say I like you? Yeah. What is what is on the other side of I like you? Like if, what's what's your worst fear? That's true. I never actually did that. Well, what's your, what's your worst fear? I don't know. What, I, I guess? Say, 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 uh, well, say it to me. I like you. Oh, I'm not interested. And then look. Bye. You're still here. Bye. You're still here. <laughs> yeah. Like, it hurts, sure, but we're still alive. Yeah. We learned a thing about someone we like, that, and it's not like a, a weird, passive-aggressive drift away. Yeah. Or like feelings, un, you know, un, unrequited things, and we never talk, and it's painful. Yeah. It's like, no, I learned. She, she wasn't interested in me when I was in her. That's okay. She's in a different place in life than I am. Yeah. Bye. And then... There'll be another. Dude, I had an interesting <laughs> experience on a dating app too. What? Is I s- someone matched with me. This chick matched with me, right? On on Bumble. On Bumble. So yeah. like they have like they like my shit, oh. right? Mm-hmm. And then whatever, I liked it and then we matched. And then like we talked for like a couple like hours and then no, not even a couple no, there was a couple messages. Oh. And then like I asked like a question and then she just like cut it off. And it was like, uh, next time, brother, like better luck next time. <laughs> she canceled that. I was like, "Damn, dude, what?" That's what you ask. It was literally like, it was like the most. She was saying the most boring shit ever, mm-hmm. right? And like, wouldn't respond to things. Be like, okay, yeah. So like, there's like, no like, uh, I'm not getting any reciprocation. And I'm like, yeah. you like my shit? Like, what? Like, I don't get what's going on. Yeah, yeah. You know? I think it's and like then they could just cancel bro. it. Yeah, dude. Like, I don't. I I just don't. That's why I feel like I don't like putting effort into it or I don't like, like I, I eventually like just don't respond. And I feel like a lot of people just don't respond because it's like, I feel like I'm not doing anything that's like growing a relationship. There's no like growth. I don't feel like, I don't feel like there's yeah. no way. Yeah. At least for me. Like I don't get it. I haven't, I, I don't know personally anyone who's, I think who's had a success story through a dating app except one. Um, yeah, I know a couple, but. But it was like a, it was like a, I don't even want to say what it was. It's just, people will know who it is. But uh, so one. I know one. Yeah. Yeah, I know one too. But like it's it's so rare, I yeah. feel. It's because it's hard to connect. It's hard to connect through a dating app. Yeah. It's hard to connect through text. Yeah. I think I just got to do the call or... I never did the, yeah. the call or FaceTime. Yeah. Is, is, are those options? Yeah. Oh, you got to do that. Yeah. I think I just got to start doing they that. They might scare people. But other other girls are going to be like, sure. Yeah. Get to know get to know you better. I'm actually. do that. Yeah. Give it a shot. Why not? Fuck it. That's the new And thing. also, if you're out the there and you're fucking the week, single, dude. dude. Mikey's single. <laughs> you know? Two two podcasts producing right now, making an album, running studios. Full-time job. Full-time know. job. Getting, fully vaxxed. Getting ripped up. Getting ripped up. Hey, a ton of money in the bank. They call me Mikey Washboard. <laughs> Mikey Washboard's glasses gone. Yeah, dude. You're looking cuter than ever, dude. Yeah. Got dudes hitting on me, dude. 20, got At the t- cafe, dude, got dudes hit on me. <laughs> Bro, I, that's I, the I, ultimate. We got to talk about that, dude. Dude, that's I, the best, f- most I flattering thing ever. I hate it, dude. It's like, I just get dude. Like, you're, Mikey's trying to get it, work it up for the ladies. You feel me? Mikey's trying to get it, looking good for the ladies. Yeah. yeah. Get out there. Yeah. Just show it off. Right. And I think I understand how women feel, man. You get for, it? Just for an inkling. You uh-huh. know, I, I know I can never say that. But for a minute, yeah. I think I understood. <laughs> Just a minute, man. I don't know what it is at my cafe, 
Maybe maybe cafe just makes people think I'm gay. Bro. Maybe. It could be. Could be. You know, and, and whatever. I don't care. I don't you know. know what people think. Think whatever you want, guys. Maybe you're just handsome. And maybe, maybe, maybe guys are like, wow, he's an attractive man. Yeah, maybe I'll, yeah, I'll, 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 I'll take it. But when it's like an older dude, dude. which is the majority. Has there ever been an agreement? Mikey's demo is older dudes <laughs> that are very unsuspecting looking that are going to give me, you know, a flirtatious comment. <laughs> Have they ever been aggressive? Like, like overly aggressive? There's one pretty aggressive one. Okay. This dude came in and I made his drink. Uh-huh. And this was like, dude, there were people, <laughs> like this was before Corona. Yeah. There were people sitting down uh-huh. and like people I'm working with. Yeah. And this guy, I gave this guy his drink. He's like, I don't know what it was, man. But he looked at me. He's like, he's like, bro, you are a sexy beast. Oh my God. And I was like, you're a sexy beast. And I'm like, ah. <laughs> what'd you say? You know, you know what my reaction is to every single one? I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> You just walk away. See it. Yeah, I'll see it. Someone else handle this order. And dude, I just leave. I'm like, I don't know how to react. Dang. It's always some weird, like older dude that literally just looks like the your neighbor dad, bro, in sweatpants and a t-shirt and maybe like a Yankees hat or what? something. Can I tell you? And like, my aggressive story. Yeah. I only. I, it's probably one of two times I've ever been, you know, uh, hit on by by a man. Mm. I was in Italy. Oh, it was after the show wrap, and we're, we're all Did he grab you, kind of, dude. <laughs> we were all out at a uh, at like a, a they call it like a I think it was like a disco, but it was like a disco tech, dude. But it was like a chill cafe at the same time. Yeah, it was like loud music and shit, but it was also like people having espressos and uh-huh. in a bar, and like it was great. That sounds nice. It was awesome. And there was like a whole buffet. It was free. Like everyone was like, they made all this incredible food and they were just like fucking everybody eat whatever they want. So we're all chilling there having a great time. My wife is there. Uh, and all of a sudden this like short Italian man, bald and like older and like plaid from head to toe. Like red and black plaid head to toe. That's sick. And I was like, this guy's like, he's like dancing near us and stuff. He's like <laughs> looking at us and laughing, like giggling, speaking Italian. I'm like, yeah, this, you know, whatever. And then he like touched me, man, touched me, and I and on my ass, and I was like, "What the fuck is going on?" <laughs> and I remember like, uh, you know, people were like laughing at him, and I was like, "No, no, 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 this isn't funny, man. Like, that's aggressive." Yeah, you know, you could you could you could talk to me all you want, like I'll I'll, I'll do flirtatious talk whenever, but like, that don't do that. You're now you're crossing the line, you know. I'm not doing that to nobody. You don't do that to it me. Was, it was an older guy. Older guy. So I was trying to respect them, but Just also be like. No, I told him, fun. I said, hey, man, what do, what do you fuck you? What do you fucking do? Let him have some fun. No, 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 Let him touch the... You got to respect your boundaries. Let him... We can, you can flirt let him cop- all you want. Him- if you want to flirt with your boy and you're a dude, you flirt with your boy I want. I'm going to tell you I'm married and I'm going to tell you, this is, you know, I can't go no further. Oh, let him get a sample. You're not going to fill me up. <laughs> tell you, I don't care. I'm in your country. I don't yeah. care. Don't do that. You ever go to a gay little bar? Pla- he was like the he was like the the what's it, Six Flags guy. He looked like the Six Flags guy with all plaid. <laughs> That's what he looked like, dude. That's what he looked like, and he wouldn't stop. <laughs> he you just like? kept pushing forward. Yeah, and I was like, somebody tell him in Italian that I'm gonna freak I'm out. Gonna fuck him <laughs> yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody <laughs> tell him to stop, and then he did. Eventually, he did. He said, "Oh no, I'm just trying to." Yeah, yeah, like that. Literally, like that. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, it's a yeah, 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 yeah. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, yeah. A pause. A pause. A pause. <laughs> <laughs> come on, come on. Yeah, yeah. I love so, that. So for for your for your triple B's next week. Is your bio straight right now? Is everything the way um, it should be? I was gonna ask you if you wanted to give me a bio for this week. Let's go. Let's go, and then we get we whoever could write a better bio, write it in the comment, and we we'll we'll throw it up for next week. Yeah, can you give me one or? Um, I don't know, bro. Like like. Or do you uh, want to leave it up to the people? Six foot. Six long foot. walks. I love long walks on the beach. I. Uh, I'm a burly dude, who's who's trimming down. Got thick thighs. <laughs> thighs for days. Polish, hundred mm. percent. Uh, 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 bilingual. <laughs> There's a lot you could put there. Hold my, on. My brother will disagree with that one. You YouTube famous. YouTube famous. Podcast host. 
artistic if you guys film got, enthusiast. If you guys got a good uh if you guys got a good bio, how about, let me know. How about how about we're just here for a good time, not a long time. That's like everyone's fucking bio, dude. <laughs> it's, it's like just a pit bull lyric. Bio. Yeah. Should I just say I'm ready to Oh I'm ready to just and then like this this emoji. Should I say your boy's been dry? <laughs> and then this emoji. <laughs> Should I say your boy's been dry? Yeah, yeah. And but you're ready to. And then it's a surf to, emoji. Yeah, <laughs> I like that. Right? I like that. Okay, okay. I'll try that. One. Yeah, do a bone emoji and then a surf emoji. <laughs> your boy's been bone. It's like the skeleton face. <laughs> yeah, do that. <laughs> I'll actually do that. Yeah, give us some tips. <laughs> give us some tips. Your boy's been skeleton. <laughs> trying to. Surf. surf yeah 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 you get <laughs> okay. like a surfer lady that's like trying to teach yeah. you how to surf realistically but the next the, the i have one more um kind of flirt flirting old dude so this guy's super oh. super unsuspecting right yeah. he's just like sweatpants he's just like literally like a dad he's ordered come every dude ordered a coffee sweatpants. i'm not even take i don't i'm not even taking his order i'm sitting by the coffee machine and the, or he's taking an order next to, with the girl next to me right? yeah and i'm just making someone's drink and the guy orders whatever start making his drink i don't say one word i don't even look at him mm. dude and this guy all all he says out of nowhere he just says you guys have the you got a good looking barista over here and he's pointing at you and and i look up and he's looking right at hey. me and i'm like <laughs> that laugh. and i just laugh right and i'm like oh my god it's it's like flattering but <laughs> oh it's god. also it's flattering i don't know what to say so i'm just like i just laugh yeah and i let it be and you i say, give his coffee and i'm like have a good one bro yeah dang you should interact more should i not lead him on but be like but play along you know like you're not so bad yourself or like and it doesn't maybe i should but i don't know what it no, is about just to. like just like a regular ass like normal dude yeah like an old i don't know what it is man you, you want me to bring it down real uh, quick yeah talk to katie for like two minutes the other day on, on zoom with when me and i were writing uh -huh. and uh she was talking about women being like assaulted uh -huh. and she was discussing how like she felt and she's like no no you don't understand as a woman like you have something that someone wants from you 24 7 yeah yeah <laughs> that's awful yeah so you always have to be on Dude, I, and i felt that for like maybe a minute <sighs> imagine 24 7 just and i was just standing there doing nothing oh right can't even see my above <laughs> my head dude like nothing and imagine just like every dude, minute of the day that's a dude there's so many weird stories about dude doing stuff at the cafe too really like one dude fucking like like recording like this dude how about the fuck oh my god yeah dude do you remember the guy when we were working together he would come in he would order a tea, a pot of tea. He would sit down and he would look for, he would be on the fucking hunt for women. Yeah. Do you remember this guy? He was younger. He looked like he was always doing business calls. Younger dude. I don't know. Yes, you do. You do know. Because it was oh, a Oh, the weirdos? And he oh, would pay yeah, yeah, for yeah, yeah, another yeah. girl's table, whoever he was trying to talk to, but then he would never follow up. <laughs> and he would say, he would, he would call me over because really? I was serving. And he would say, hey. Don't see that table over there behind you to your to your left the two oh the two girls there yeah he's like he's like here here and he slipped me like a he slipped me like thirty bucks he'd be like just put that towards their towards their bill tell my god no he wouldn't he wouldn't say, he'd say don't tell them and I was like this is where it gets creepy and the manager shout out Lynn was like dude I got to talk to this guy and she did because I was trying to make the connect we all were yeah why are you pay, why are you coming in paying for tables yeah and not uh not letting them know you're paying for them because there's no there's no give back on that and you could say charity sure but it's only women yeah is that am i does he do anything weird like bro he's staring at them all night <laughs> and they, some of them were fucking 15 16 with their parents oh that's weird and he didn't know and he, that's and weird. he, he did it one time and, I, and that's why i told lynn and she was like oh, no, no 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 and she yeah. ran out there but i remember i would watch him bro and he would slip me that money i'd be like yeah what are you doing? Yeah, why don't you want them? Why don't you want them to know it's you? Yeah, because you 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 like them clearly, but you're being creepy. Yeah, paying for them and the, and, they're, and then they're like, who did it? And he's like, maybe he gets a kick out of it. 
Yeah, but what? That's that, that adrenaline. No, no, no. That's a kick. That's a dirty kick, yeah. dude. That's a weird kick. Yeah. That's not good. Yeah. That's some killer shit. Yeah. <laughs> Probably. Yeah, dude. I don't know. I didn't like that I'm guy. always scared of like one day someone's just going to come in and kill me. <laughs> really? It's kind of dark. <laughs> Do you think that really? It's maybe sometimes when I'm alone Like in the a morning. fantasy? Like yeah. where you're like, someone might come and rob it and shoot yeah, me? Yeah, because I always open early. Yeah. Right? And I'm Your first alone. one. Yeah. yeah. Do you lock the door? You keep it locked? Um, yeah, dude. Yeah, I don't know. Sometimes I think about it. Like what? Like I got, I got, I got an Amber Alert today. Someone just got kidnapped. Dude, I got it too. Yeah, and they're armed. And I'm yeah, like, yeah. all right, cool. White so, Nissan. And I started looking around. I'm like, imagine like the guy was just right next to me. Yeah. Hiding in the I parking know, lot. I know. I'm like, well, I'm dead. You're dead. I know. And we're not in an open carry state, dude. You're, you're on your own. You, you got to have a permit and you got to have everything if you want. If you need a weapon. Yeah. You know, we're defenseless against yeah. a gun. That's why I got this box, dude. Yeah, but still, I'm getting shot in the face, you know, if, if you felt like it. These hands are quicker. I mean, I don't want to brag, but they call me Lightning <laughs> Lulino. Hey, we're about an hour in. Let's get into some of these questions. Let's get we in, got. baby. We, got, we had a shout out to Sean Paul and Rob in the live before. I really wanted to talk in about this. In the live before the podcast, uh, we do a little live every Monday, you know. Afternoon. Afternoon, where, you know, you can hop in, ask us questions. We'll have them on the podcast. Uh-huh um and i think you know more yeah he, he has said a lot more let me take over yeah, yeah he uh shout out rob shout out sean paul nice to meet you rob um yeah he said they were talking about manifesting dreams and if it's like a silly thing to uh to think that you're onto something basically like is it is it like a i don't know is it kind of like a uh a false like uh, narrative you're writing for yourself or is it something that you're actually achieving like do you when you stop and ask yourself he said specifically with the podcast he's like what you guys are doing right now is it something you feel like you're just kind of um you know you're lying to yourself about the progress you're making or, or eventually it's going to blow up and just like you have this image this dream and are you falsely manifesting like something that'll never come true or is it something that you actually see yourself progressing in and like really manifesting uh success with yeah um so what do you think mikey i'll leave it to you dude You're talking about the podcast um i think it's i actually was thinking a lot about um like dreams passions um you know things we think about you know you, you kind of set your dreams like you always try to say like oh i'm gonna set these dreams for you know sometimes it's like over five years or ten years right mm -hmm. and it's like dreams change man it's gonna change no matter what things are gonna change and um i know sometimes man it's good to just you know it doesn't have to be for some greater thing i agree right it, i mean we started this because we just wanted to talk every week right yeah, yeah we don't see each other all the time we used to see each other just at work that's how we met yeah right and to be able to just hang out for an hour maybe re like i feel like with with filmmaking like for you i know it's like if you reach one person man it's it's worth it yeah I never really had like the, like, oh, dude, we're going to hug and blow it up and get these sponsors, dog, and <laughs> yeah, I'm going to yeah. be rich and I'm going to kill it. Yeah, yeah. And like, that's never the goal for me, I don't think. Yeah. I don't know why. I, I don't know. I don't mind putting in the uh, time and effort. It's because I love doing it. Yeah. Right? And yeah. I think that that's more than enough. Maybe that's the goal yeah right? i agree of a lot of the things in life i agree for this for this specific that's how i feel 100 yeah, like, if i just love what i'm doing why why what, what else do you really need yeah this this the, the, this i think numbers aren't gonna no 100 10 000 oh i'm gonna want a hundred thousand dude it, it, you're always gonna be chasing you're gonna something want, dude it, it's never gonna end it doesn't matter yeah to me it really doesn't matter anymore man yeah i agree i agree i think i think it's uh it's the the, the excitement i think i get when i see people communicate with us yes is that we're i feel like we're 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 doing work real work yeah. we're reaching people i think know? that's a goal the only goal i have is like to see like people interact yes man i think that's my biggest thing that's that what I, it's I want great from this. we've had real people make friendships through uh the lives we've done or, or the the, yeah. the the episodes that have people have watched yeah, and they talk about it with us i think that's the coolest thing is knowing that like right now someone's listening to our podcast that we we drove over here and we set up this equipment and you're editing and producing and, and putting out there for them to be able to listen to through their technology. Yeah. To feel less alone in a part of our conversation, which they are now. It's this weird thing. Yeah. That's what podcasts are. And we said we wanted to be a part of that. We wanted to be able to do that, to provide like 
not only conversation for each other, you know, to, to be open and honest with one another like we usually are, but like to do it on a platform where people can say, I click a button and now it's me, Mike and Dave. Yep. Instead of just Mike and Dave. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. So I think that's uh, that's what it is for me, man. So Sean, Paul, and Rob, dude, like I don't care. I don't. To me, the numbers really don't matter. Uh, more so now than ever. I think, uh, you know, I th- I really think like we do something that's beautiful, at least in my eyes. Yeah. And I enjoy doing it so much, and I'm not chasing something yeah. while I do it. Yeah. So it's like it's like uh, I'm exactly where I should be when I sit down with you to do this podcast. Yeah, I'm not like uh, worried about the analytics or or, or the sponsorships or whatever. Yeah, if that comes, great. That's yeah. that's beautiful. And uh, and if it never comes, I'm just as happy, dude. Yeah, you know, I get to sit down with my buddy Mike as we grow older and like have honest conversations every yeah. Monday. You know, like I could give a fuck. Yeah. And and if someone else is like, if it's one person for real, that's like. I love, you know, being a part of your conversations or like you really, you know, made me think about a thing. You made me laugh on Wednesday or whatever. Mm. I love that. That's all I, yeah, that's man. all I care about. Really? Yeah. I don't want to spend the money any other way. I agree. hundred percent. So that's, that's my answer, Sean. So, hey man, you think, you think we're, we ain't doing shit over here? Yeah, Sean, what's you up? Think, you think we're not successful, dude? What's no. up, dude? No, nah, we're living, we're living, bro. We're yeah. fully in the moment. You can't take the moment from us. That's success. Yeah success we yeah, got to change this fucking this this sign a little bit we got to do this next time dude i got to get denzel washington up there I'll tell you hey, right dude, now I, I was looking at some some uh signs neon signs and hey dude <laughs> dude are we about to do it it's a lot of money oh damn okay we'll, we'll see we'll see we'll see some patreon that'd be sick floating now if we were to open a patreon for a neon sign <laughs> i would get some help maybe yeah we'll see I Maybe I'll have like, a hot pepper I always feel, challenge for some neon signs. I always feel so weird about doing a Patreon kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? I, know. I know. Maybe it's like, you know. Well, people, you're providing a service. You want to support? That's you're providing you a support. service, Mikey. You can't sell yourself short, dog. True. It's very true. What's next, bro? I was listening. I, I actually wanted to add on to that, too. Add um, on to it, bro. Because I was listening to a yeah. recent podcast with uh, Joe Rogan. had Dave Chappelle on. Yeah. And... Just like, I don't know, man. The thing about with them is like, they are like, you know, top of the top, like Mm -hmm. in entertainment, right? Mm -hmm. Like it's Mm -hmm. different levels to like, you know, celebrity, you know, uh, different roles, you know, in society, like how many people know them, stuff like that. And the way they, like, I'm, I think they're the two, some of the two like most level headed and most down to earth, like celebrity celebrity people that i like ever listened to who rogan and who rogan and Chappelle. oh Chappelle, yeah because like he actually like Chappelle was talking to uh rogan he actually mentioned during he's like like you're one of the people that like like fame didn't do much to them yeah you know yeah like you still like all you care about is your fucking elk meat and your the shit you like the fighting like was your whatever and comedy was your passion and like he, you don't really see him doing, you know, anything crazy. Yeah, yeah. You know you I mean, gotta he's respect never in that, that like, yeah. in that. Uh, he doesn't care about any of that. Yeah, right? yeah. The fame and everything. But and Chappelle was also talking about like he's he because he, he moved. I think I forgot where he moved to. To Texas. To Texas or yeah, Texas. He's think I think he has a place somewhere in like Iowa or really or somewhere else. But like he was talking about, he's like he loves being able to see just like the people in his like community or yeah, whatever that's yeah. like away from like LA or New York. Oh, or, like, dude. You know what I mean? Like instead of like all caring about like the, the, the social media, like yeah. kind of world yeah. that's, that is those places yep. and that it's like the influencer fucking, you know, that's all people care about. Dude. Like just like being able to say hi to your next door neighbor or like someone on the street waves or like something like that is so much like the, the, like recognizing the the common man yeah and that like the common like there's so many people in the world that you know make this world run yeah right yeah so many jobs that you know you don't even think about every day yeah. like who does my fucking water or who like makes my electricity yeah who you know, go to my building yeah. yeah who put the fucking shit who built my house or the apartment i live in there's so many like the average man you know what i mean mm-hmm. a man and woman that like just lives every day you know, but we, we all focus on like the, the, the social media, like the, these fucking people that we look up to or love listening to. And like, I don't know, I, something about that where like, it made me think like, 
it's okay to fucking just, you know, maybe we do this podcast and we just love doing it because we love each other, right? And we love doing this because maybe a couple of people will listen to it. Yeah. You know? And I'm happy. I'm living life because I love it. And that's fulfills me, right? Yeah. And it's like those jobs fulfill people, right? Yeah. yeah. Like, I don't know. Like, I feel like it's tough for creatives. Yeah. People that like an artist that are like, oh, I got to, you know, I'm going, I'm trying to fucking, you know, make it in there. Yeah, bro. And like I, I wrote the quote up there. Uh, Chappelle said, everyone's focused on trying to hit a home run. Yeah. Right. Yeah, everyone's yeah. trying to get the fucking, the big break. Or yeah. The fucking, yeah. The all top the, of the food the, chain. Like they're trying to make it big, man. Yeah. And you got to worry about all the bases. You I agree, I mean? man. You got to hit every little thing. Like every little thing is a step and there's a, yeah. it's part of life. It's part of the journey. There's a weird thing about being a, like a, uh, uh, entering a creative field and saying like, this is what I want to do with my life. Yeah. Cause then it's, cause there's an obvious like, like societal, like standard of what success is. Right. You know? Right. And yeah, I think you can measure your success. Like who has say over who, whether you're successful or not. Yeah, exactly. Only you. Only you, right? Yep. You know, I can walk away right now and be like success. Yep. I did it. Yep. I think it's a way Just better that, way to live, man. I did it. I did it. Yeah. Made movies, was in plays, traveled, paid. Yeah. Did it. So I'm done. Yeah, man. And and I'm successful. And, I, and only I get to say that. None of my followers are not, not if I had a million or if I had 70 million or whatever, you know? Am I Justin Bieber famous? No. Do I want to be? No. Mm. What do you want? If you want those things, now, when you enter the, like a creative field and you're like, this is what I want to do with my life, I think we're motivated by success stories. We're motivated by people that have done it before that we we get to see. Yep. Now, people we get to see are on bigger platforms usually. You don't walk into a bar and you're like, that's what I want to be. Yeah. And it's like some dude on a guitar, like, you know, on an on a open mic night. And you're yep. like, that's all I want. It's very rare. But if you are that person, that's that's your goal. You set that goal. Yeah. You get introduced to like a... a you know, the Lumineers or something, and you're like, that's what I want. Yeah. They're fucking torn all over the world. They have four albums now. They're yep. multi-millionaires. Like, if I'm not that, then I'm not successful. Yep. But the dude at the bar is just as successful as the, as the Lumineers playing music to people. Yeah. Just the different scales. Yeah. It's hard, it's hard to accept that. It's hard to say, like, we're not all cut out to be, you know, home run hitters. Yeah. We're not all cut out to hit home runs all the time. Mm. Maybe some people get successful for uh, an album and then they never make another one again. Maybe a single. Yep. Maybe they never blow up. Yep. You know, on that on that big of a scale, they're not TikTok famous. You know, not everyone's meant to be TikTok famous. Yeah. It's not. It's not. It's not something that we all should strive for. Is like the home run thing. It's. It's nice to think about and daydream about, but you measure your success, dude. Yep. You know. You know what matters. You know. Yeah, man. I think. Uh, I, I have to check myself a lot sometimes and say like, you know, sometimes I get motivated by, by supporting my, my little part of the universe, my family with what I love to do, which is tell story. And so I'm like, if I'm not selling this movie to, if I'm not raising this X amount of dollars and then selling it for, you know, double that and making that kind of profit and having us, you know, financial secure, then I'm a piece of shit Then I'm not successful. You know, you could say that, you know, people may yeah. say that, but like, it's a short life. If I get the chance to do that and it works out, fucking great. If yeah. I get the chance to do that and I go down swinging, just as I, successful. I think that it's it's like to clarify like the because I'm thinking like maybe having like that idea of like oh I gotta hit the home run. Yeah, it's like a good mindset for someone like you know putting everything into this shit. Right? Okay, you're saying it's maybe like you know maybe something will come from it. Yeah, but uh, I think at first it's great. Yeah, right. You're, you start yeah. working really, and hard. then and then realizing, you know, and then the realistic that it, where we're you know, at. the realistic yeah. growth. Yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, because like then I think like all right, so maybe what about the other mindset of like all right, if you're doing because not everyone is like I'm doing this because I love it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's not not everyone does that. They're like I, I want to make a living. Answer, I want to live. You know? I, I think that's the answer. Shit. I think that's what it comes down to. I think that's how people, you know get successful i they, think you they really want, gotta love they a do fucking shit because they love this shit i really believe that there's so Cause many cause, people because if you don't love it you're gonna give up well you you may feel you love it yeah. you may feel like this is all i want but you may be lying to yourself yeah 
we're tricky, man. Our minds are tricky. Yeah. We're motivated by different. Our spines are different. Yes. It may be money. It may be for real money. And you saw Kanye blew up and is a billionaire now. Yeah. And you're like, no, man, I love music. You don't understand. I love Kanye's music. So I was like, maybe you fell in love with his journey more than you fell in love with his music. Yeah. Maybe it wasn't music, period. Maybe you just fell in love with his journey. Mm. You know, Chicago to billionaire. Yep. And that motivated you to do music. And you thought it was because of music. This is why I, I, I love it. Do you love it enough to not get paid to do it for 10 years? Yeah. Do you love it enough to not get recognized for any of your music ever? <laughs> if you do, great. You'll never stop doing music. Yeah. And maybe you'll succeed one day. Like, for real. Yeah. On Kanye's level. Dude, and this the, another crazy thing about the Chappelle thing is he, he was saying, he's like, he's like, my fucking production, my company that I used to do like pilots and shit was called Pilot Boy. Pilot Boy. You want to know why? Because they just kept pitching pilots. They kept doing pilots for 10 years. Yeah, exactly. Ex and that's they exactly all, my point. They were all fucking rejected. Mm -hmm. Dave Chappelle, you know, probably number one comedian. Look right? at him now, dude. Well, this is what I'm saying. He man. really loved it. Yeah. You don't do, you don't go through 10 years of fucking nothing. You know what I mean? I agree. I agree. I think that's what separates people yeah. who do succeed in their fields and people who give them up. Yeah. You know, no shame in it. You find out yeah, what you man. love. Everyone loves something. You and you do your best. I'm only human, man. I don't I don't know all the answers, but I think I've seen that happen a lot where people yeah. give up a thing because they, they didn't really love it. They love the idea of it. Yeah. Or there was something entwined with it that they thought they loved mm. about it. Yeah. You know? It's fun to it's it, dude, it's real fun to win awards. Oh yeah. It's real fun to win awards. Go see your thing on the screen. Oh know? my god, bro. You could get addicted to that. You think that's like motivating you? And then when that's gone. You better really love storytelling. You better yeah, really dude. love it. I want. That'd be interesting to see how many people left like the <laughs> filmmaking from the quarantine. Oh, bro! No festivals, no nothing. Yeah, you you'll see. There's gonna be a big open market now. Yeah, and people who really love to stuck around. I want to ask this: um, How do you think? Uh, how do you think uh, the quarantine and stuff is gonna affect people? Like, I was thinking about this getting today. into like like acting filmmaking like because yeah. you know before you had like the collective or schooling yeah, and stuff like yeah. that i mean i think we're gonna get back to you know being able to go Eventually. into schools and stuff yeah yeah yeah. but um at, during this time you know it's been almost like it's over a year right yeah uh yeah yeah, yeah over March. a year yeah so it's like it's weird i think like the culture's kind of changed definitely like you know it's, or it's gonna so. be changed yeah yeah i can see that i think uh as far as like people getting, it's kind of sad, in, man, because it's like it's not the same as before. Yeah, like, I think you're, we you're, lost like a whole generation of storytellers. Yeah, you know that it's possibly would have done it. Like it's super sad to think about. If I was like on the on the fence about like telling my parents I want to act, yep. and it was 2020, 2020 I wouldn't have told them. I'd yeah. been like, I gotta. Your only avenue I'd was save. like making your own film or like becoming like a TikTok star. Or yeah, 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 or doing like monologues online. Yeah, and, you know, auditioning for, uh, you know. Uh, what is it called? The voiceover work. Yeah. You know what I mean? That was all it was. Yeah. I really, uh, what was cool though is today with Adam, I was talking about, um, you know, we're talking about success. And, and um, when I think of, when I used to think of success, it was like being represented, you know, booking a bunch of shows, making money that way, and then getting cast in a big film, being seen that my work is different from others and like yeah. being recognized as like, you know, great actor and then mm. getting to choose what I want to do and then making my own things and then bringing all my buddies along. And that's what I thought the trajectory has to be. You know, it's like you're told, uh, at least I was told, uh, that you just, you have to succeed in, in audition rooms and you have to, and there's truth to that. But um, I was never, I, I had a few success stories, you know, but uh, my path is different. And I think, I'm finally in a good place where I don't measure my worth with who I'm represented by, mm. you know, or, or, or who wants to work with me real bad. I don't care anymore. I really don't care. Yeah. You know, I, I, I would love to be working with like a Paul Thomas Anderson Yeah. really bad. You know, that'd be great. But I'm also not like I'm terrible because Paul Thomas Anderson doesn't know my name. Yeah. Or I don't, I'm not rep by CCIA, like mm. a huge agency, you know? Yeah. You know, I can I can act. I know that, and I feel very confident in what I what I can bring to the table. Yeah. But I'm also not worried about the external things of who knows that I can bring stuff to the table. Yeah. You know, nobody uh, for all the stuff that I put out for ten years, like you know, um, 
I've had beautiful things that people have said about my work, but I've also had people say, you know, nothing. Mm-hmm. Or, or been turned down by, I can't tell you how many agencies. Or pe- I'm throwing, you know, I remember I was sending headshots out, resumes out, like fucking five days a week yeah. to, to all agencies all over the city and, and, and the West Coast and stuff. And, uh, you know, I'd get nothing. Yeah. Because there's so many of us, you yeah. know what I mean? And what separates you really is what it comes, but also it's like a random, I'm there, they're good. Eyebrows are good. Yeah, Juilliard, cool. You know, and it's like, so the the window is so small yeah that uh i used to measure my worth on whether they say i'm good or not yep who the fuck are they to tell yeah, me yeah no. they know you for a split second off a headshot i always try to tell people and i say it on the podcast a lot but i always try to tell people now like don't wait for these people yeah don't wait for anyone to tell you this is the time to not you can't you know don't maybe, wait maybe before you know you you I had to rely on them. You know I, I, mean? I didn't know no better. I was yeah. young. I was, I was, I, I thought when people tell you about the business, listen to it, all of it. They're yeah. all right. Yep. And a lot of people will tell you they know what they're talking about when they don't. Yep. I've got a decade of experience doing this thing. I'm telling you right now, do not wait to be repped by an agency or a yep. big fucking agency or wait for people to send you on auditions or whatever. Make your own shit. Yep. Re- record your own monologues. Yeah. Find something you fuck, you're passionate. What, what do you read that moves your fucking heart when you read it? Then, then break it down. Then, then do a monologue. Get, put yourself on fucking camera. Do it all the time. Yeah. Do it all the time. Read, read, read crazy shit. Yeah. And then, and then go write your own thing. Start yep. writing your own shit. You know, going to comedy, going to improv, going to sketch, going to whatever, whatever moves you. But do it. Yeah. You and gotta, then, and then create your own product. Yep. You got to take it as much as you can. That's Dude, there's no is. reason you can't nowadays. You, yeah. there's no reason. There's no We've excuse. made so many shorts over the years. You know, yep. good, bad, otherwise, it doesn't matter. You know, we represented ourselves. We've done it ourselves. Yep. You know, there's been success in those areas. There's been failures in those areas. But like, I am who I am now because I didn't wait for people to give me jobs. Yep. I realize that now. Yeah. If I did, I'd I'd be even further behind than I am now. But like, I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be. And I was talking to Adam about that. And we were just like, isn't it great? Because we used to sweat it, bro. We used to be on the phone or in person and be like, dog, what the fuck? Like, why are we not? Yep. We could walk in, you know, we were, you know, blowing smoke up our own asses sometimes, but we really believe, like, we can fucking act. Yeah. You know, we really can. And I believe in him, Adam, 100% can outact anyone yeah. in a room, period. Um, but, uh, because I've seen it and I can I can vouch for it 100%. Yeah. Uh, it's silly. It's silly that he isn't rep by gigantic agencies. It's silly that he isn't booking shows all over the fucking planet. It's stupid to me that he's not in movies everywhere. Yeah. Um, but we're not in control of that. Yeah. We're in control of that that much. Yeah. The power is held by people that are not 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 all people are careless. Not all people don't aren't like they can't be. It's too many of us. Mm. We can't all be seen. You know what I'm saying? The cream yeah. will always rise to the top, but you need to provide your own opportunity. I think the biggest like the biggest like fucking like um, thing about like filmmaking. And the lies is like the fucking like the the vision of like Hollywood, where like it's they talk just about a bunch the, of bullshit in the industry. It's a like, bunch of you know, bullshit. I'm, I'm on like you know, dude, it's bullshit. It's so it. You know what it is? You know, you know what it actually is? What? It's people doing their own shit, but it's just a big version. Yeah, but they stay new somebody in the industry yeah. that they shook hands. That's with. That's what Hollywood is, dude. It's a it's hand in money doing my own shit. Your name but is recognized. Huge That's all it is. It's all it is. It's, it's a big it's, family. It's the original doing my own shit. You know shit. who's never moved to LA? This Boy, guy. Hell yeah. Never. Same here. Never. Good. And I love I love everyone who I know from, from LA and Nick Craven. I love we'll, you. We'll check in five years. Yeah, we'll check in five years. <laughs> no, no, no. But for real, I don't ever want to I don't ever I don't ever want to because of what I've heard. Yeah. And what I've seen was it, it, it is what you just said. It was like uh, nobody knows their neighbors. Nobody's like yeah. checking in on one another. It's very closed it's off. It's, it's different. It's man. a social media uh, heavy place. It's, yeah. Your image is it fo- follows you into the, you know, it, 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 it precedes you walking in the door. It's like your yeah. follower count. Yeah. Or what have you been on? Yeah. Been, I haven't been on shit. You wouldn't know me. I don't want to be. And, and Cali's beautiful, man. And Cali's gorgeous. I, mean, I, I would say I wouldn't live in like L.A., yeah, I, you know, maybe somewhere else in can like I'm not gonna say California is all bad. You know what? I, you know what I would say? I don't want to be part of the ho- the industry. Yes. I don't want to be part. Yes, of that. yes, yes. I agree with that. Man. I want to make a living outside of it. Yeah, if it's if I can. Yeah. So I'll do that. I agree, man. 
Yeah, man. Mikey. Fuck. I can't lie. Yeah. I don't want to lie to you. Yeah, I'm man. being honest with you when no, I say yeah, this. Yeah. It's like a scary 100%. thing to say, but I'm being real. 100%. It took me a long time to get here. Yeah. I don't want to be a part of that. Yeah. But I want to tell a story. I agree, man. So that's it. Yeah, same That's here. where I'm at. Same here. No, yeah, I mean, maybe you're not. It's okay. No, no, I agree with, I agree with that. Hollywood, just like I don't, I don't understand, man. Like, um, I don't know. It's just that's what I think it is. It's it's just the original doing it ourselves. Yeah, you know, but yeah. it's just backed by. But if you're not part of the boys' club, thing. like, go fuck yeah, yourself. Yeah, no, that's so. If you're like, not rep by this agent, we don't care. I wanted to ask. It's like, so like obviously, I think all industries changed with like social media yeah and with the technology you know yeah what I mean? yeah of like being able to you know sign up for shit online or stuff like that yeah, yeah. if you were able to pick when you could get into acting uh -huh. or filmmaking uh -huh. it'd be like you know back in the day oh my god like hollywood growing fucking up fucking 1970 dude yeah yeah or, then yeah 100 percent. fuck yeah that's when like, that'd be sick right? because it was a meritocracy then it was based on like how good are you at this thing? Yeah. You could walk into a fucking a casting director's office and be like, "Hey, my name's Mike Nowicki. Yeah, this is what I think I can do. I've seen. I just watched fucking Easy Riders, dude. And I think I could do some shit like this. Yeah. I love Cassavetes. Like, do you know? Do you know anything that I'd be good for? And they'd be like, "What's where are you from?" And and you'd be like, "Oh, I'm from the Midwest, or I'm from Jersey." Yeah, They're like, oh, cool. You got a funny, you know, accent. What What do you really want to do? And you tell them, and they work with you. Yeah. It was like that. Was it like that back then? Yeah, man. It fucking John Voight would walk into a casting director's office and it was like, it, before he was John Voight. Really? And they were like, yeah, give me your card and give me your information and then like, well, we'll figure something out with you. And yeah, I'll yeah. send you on auditions because I think you'll be good for this thing that I'm the casting director on next. It was like a, it was a meritocracy. Damn. The best rose to the top. I could be the best in the city. I know, I know. Dude, you're going to tell me fucking Evangeline Young or, or Tori Ryder Manis or, 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 you know, all the people that we've had on the show. The people that like stand out, you're going to tell me they're not worth a million dollars? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Are you going to say that? They're not better than fucking uh, uh, G Ginny and Georgia or whatever the, the, yeah. the fuck that show is. <laughs> but it doesn't matter. Yeah. That's my point. It doesn't matter. Yeah. These people, like, like Adam and Katie, they're fucking home run hitting actors. Yeah. They just are. You can't, you can't, yeah. you can't, you can't fuck with them. They're not in the inner sanctum. Yeah. And there's, the ceiling is so tough to break through. Yeah. You know, everyone we bring on the show talks about this. Is yep. it, There's a reason because they want something so bad and, you know, it just hasn't happened yet. But it's because we're, it's, it's too many people doing the same thing. Yeah. And, you know, I, I, I don't want to fucking... Just give out saturated. too much personal information but like we know someone very dear to us who was auditioning for a netflix show who someone's son booked the role a famous like bill pullman's son booked the role really now the homie we know would fuck him up like yeah. in acting bad yeah. but it's bill pullman's son yeah so of course he gets the the series the full series and gets paid all the money and fuck you're telling me that and i'll tell you who it is after you're, yeah. you're gonna you're gonna be like fuck this really yeah man fuck. and and homie was auditioning homie was auditioning for it and he was doing really well and he's fucking bringing crazy shit to the audition and it's fantastic i helped him with it yeah yeah i'm t i'm telling you bro it's so yeah that's why like, and people are gonna say when i'm delusional you look at it, man do people are gonna say i'm being delusional or whatever or, or i don't i don't care what you say i i'm not i'm not the know-it-all i don't know everything yeah. I know this that that we're worth way more than we're paid right yeah. now, 100%. way more. But uh, there's too many of us out there, and there's not enough opportunity for us. Yeah. So we have to create our own, or we're gonna die. Yep. And that's my advice to y'all. If you if you if you're yeah, storytelling, if, you're, really to do if it. you're an actor and you're you're like, how do I make it work? How do I, go on backstage? Go go book some student things. Like get 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 your your experience, and then figure out what you love, dude. Read some stuff that makes you fucking weep or makes you, moves you brings pain to your heart. Whatever it is. Reminds you of something. Write your own thing. Write it, to, write it about your mom. Write it whatever. Whatever moves you, write it. I guarantee if it's personal enough, someone's going to fuck with it. I guarantee you're going to move somebody else. And then put it on screen. Yeah. Film yourself doing it. Create a scene. Shoot it. You know? Put it out there. Yeah. You got all the tools now, man. You got to do it. If you, if you really want this thing, you will do it. 
that's 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 what I would say. I'm not. I don't know why I'm giving advice, but that's no, that's man. what I would say. You should. You've been doing it, man. I'm not a professional. Like to take advice from. I'm not. What's her name? Renee Brown or whatever. <laughs> but um, I really mean what I say. Yeah. I really, I really, I really mean that. And I have been around the block, dude. Like, yeah. It's ten years of this shit. Eleven. Do, do you? Maybe we can end on this question. But uh, do you not have any? Um, does anyone come to mind when you think of like the, like people like you know us or like the you could say it's like you know the the, the struggling artist or like the good guy like uh, making it or like uh, making some shit you know it's from them it's their heart and then it actually jim, jim cummings uh uh he made a movie called thunder road and, and he did it all on his own and very good dude and he made it work and he made money off of his first feature film and you know he's and now he's got a bigger deal coming his way there uh like the Safties, yeah, that's what I was gonna say. They're huge now, but they that. were they were making just, their yeah, own features in New working, York City, man. and they're bust. They've been busting their ass for years. Yeah, and now people are like, "Who the fuck is Safties? This yep. is overnight success." Yep. Nope, that's exactly what I was thinking. And of. they're telling the best stories in the world yep. right now. Like story wise, they're the best yeah. storytellers. I think those are like the biggest inspiration. Yeah, right? man, they're not they're not overnight successes. They were grinders and they made it work. And they studied story. They you don't learn. It. They don't. You don't know. I don't know anything about like. They, I don't. I never seen them like talk, or they're never going to some fucking events and shit. They're just making films. They make films, dude. Yeah, yeah. But they're 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 very involved in the film scene in New York City. They're they're. Yeah. Uh, they made two of the best movies so far, like yeah, ever. Man. Like they're they're great. They're really but it's no good. surprise, man. I me and me and I were watching uh, uh, the beginning of uh, Good Time. Yeah. Do you remember that when Benny's in the in the, he's sitting in the counseling scene? Yeah. I'm like, this guy deserves an Oscar. Yeah. In the first three minutes of the movie. Yep. He deserves an Oscar. Fucking amazing. Dude, they're incredible. They're incredible. Um, so I would say the Safties are another good model to look at. Uh, there's a couple of people from the city, like like Chris Mon and, and uh, you know, they're, they're hardworking dudes. Christopher Abbott, um, Adam Driver. Mm. Uh, yeah, there's, 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 there's success stories out there. The good guys. Yeah. You know, starting to starting to win when they didn't have any connection to the industry and they're, they tell a good bro. story yeah it's gonna be us one day yeah i, I, have, I have a feeling i have so much faith dude i have yeah. so much faith i promise I, prom I got so much to talk to you about bro after the show like yeah yeah it's not yeah it'll come out when it comes out be about it don't talk about it you there know what i'm saying i'm trying to try and do that more so Boom. yeah i'll tell you after fuck you yeah. hey man episode 120 dude that's it episode 120 come on now you gotta get your ass you to the already gym. know people yeah i gotta get to the gym you're gonna close it on me, dude. Yeah. I'm so depressed. You gotta get in there, dude. Last week I went, they were closing. You like got in, ran, and then dude. they got ready. I was I was in the middle. I was like three more, three more workouts in, and then I was like, dude, everyone, everyone's leaving. I'm like, what? No. I thought it was 24 hours. Yeah, let's get you out of here. It's sad. No, it's gonna be open. It's gonna be open. Okay. But, episode uh, 120. Episode 120, man. You know where to find a podcast: Spotify, Apple Podcasts, YouTube, the video, Anchor.fm, www.youhearpodcast.co. We cannot afford the M. M. My name is Mike, and I'm signing out. My name is Dave, and you know I love y'all. And please be kind to one another. Please, man. Take care of each other. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Flex on them, son. Mmm. <laughs>